sorry, I got this one. What's the most embarrassing thing that's happened to you during a game? <laughs> Hi guys, me and Katie are sitting down for a nice little chat. We've got some topics and questions in here, so we're going to pull one each and then have a little chat about it. All right, let's go with the first one. What's your most treasured football jersey you have at home? Um, I know exactly which one it is. Celtic debut. Yeah, I, I think any be. professional debut, most players would say that's the most treasured. Probably the moment you, your dream comes true, isn't it? Yeah. Any footballer, first game, so I would be that. Oh yeah, nice. I'll ask you the same, what's your, what's I your answer? I don't think I have one. Like, oh no, my FA Cup one, my first FA Cup one, 2017. Yeah. That was fresh, that one. That was my, one of my favourite kits. And it has like the little emblem of like the FA Cup and that in there, so it's fresh. It's out on the wall? It's not actually. No? Uh, no, that treasured then. No, it's not nah, that it's still in the cupboard. Who is the most wholesome member of the squad? I see that's quite an easy one, it's you, Rob. Really? Yeah. Oh, I think you blush on camera, innit? The best guy in the team. Um, most energy. <laughs> helps everyone when they're down and it speaks volumes because he goes through tough times himself and he still wants to help everybody else, so it's, hey, it's I don't wrong. know what to say after that, it's making me cry a little yeah, bit, man. It's nice, <laughs> isn't it? Yeah, you're, you're not too bad yourself. Yeah, right? you don't need to say it, you don't need to say it. <laughs> yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm sorry, I got this one. What's the most embarrassing thing that's happened to you during a game? <laughs> <laughs> I swear oh to God, my God, that night at the Emirates, there was a ghost that tripped me up. Yeah, I'm yeah, positive, so mate. Do you, all know, do you all know what it is? Why are you so nodding? <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. Nah, so, no, let me describe we, it at can least. Can we get that into the... No, like, no, don't do that. <laughs> like, one ankle buckles, the other ankle buckles. And then you knee your calf. I don't know where my hands are at this moment, right? Because my head goes like that. <laughs> you just remembered it. Right off the ground first. And I swear <laughs> to God, it was like a trampoline. Like, I've done that, bounced up, and I've ran back. If they scored, I'd have ran, because there was no fans, I'd have ran over the hang, right out of the turnstile on the way <laughs> home. Just kept going. Away home to Scotland, Straight mate. to Scotland. Yeah, if they scored that, that, that was bad. Was the, I was playing the game and I remember just yeah. like, coming across like this. I'm just seeing you, like, mate, your it, legs go in the air. Like, the problem was, right, I was trying to be smart. I was trying to fake, going back to the keeper and go forward. <laughs> I need to know my limits, that's not me. Uh, to be honest, I've never had anything uh, that Embarrassing happen. Cheers, mate. Uh, mate. Which first teamer can you see straight away that they have outrageous techers? Which is a terrible word, but outrageous that's a techers. question. I'd say, um, I'd say Martin. He's nice, smooth, innit? And like when he gets the ball, he's like putting his jinx inside. Tidy he player. Has like little passes and that. I think he's he's nice with it. Uh, Laka is techie. And then Pepe as well. Like, mate, Pepe's I'm saying Pepe all day. Yeah, I didn't think of Pepe. I play against him every day and it's horrible experience, yeah, it's man. Yeah, he's not nice. I mean, he's good. I want to play against him every day. One day one against Pepe every day. What's the game that you watched the highlights the most? The highlights back? The uh, FA Cup final. Did you? Yeah, I've watched what, that like one? four or five times. Yeah, Is that uh, Chelsea? Arsenal, Chelsea, yeah. Well, uh, yeah, well, I'm out of cost there. <laughs> and I hit a Diag as well. He's on their YouTube yeah, highlights. I've, and I've I, love, that. I love seeing that Diag, man. Nah, it's decent, man. Decent. <laughs> what about you? Um, so you're a 60 yard screamer for Super Celtic. Yeah, that or the West Brom one as well. Move. When you first signed, you're like, yeah, look at this. Goal. My pro <laughs> probably goals. I don't score many, so I watch it back a few times, but yeah. not outrageous amounts. Who would you most want on your team for Squid Game out of the first team squad? For Squid Game? <laughs> 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 Who would you want? Squid Games. <laughs> uh, I'll take you, mate. I would be decent. Yeah, at that, you're I think. pretty intelligent and like you're, you're all or nothing as well. Yeah, compared to like, you'd sacrifice yourself for me, yeah. which would be good. I don't know if I would do that, but <laughs> I, I, I wouldn't do that for you. Yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't do it. For, I wouldn't do it for anyone, mate. Yeah. There's no one that like, no chance. Myself. I'm not dying for you, mate. If you could change one rule in football, what would it be? Um, Two foot tackles. <laughs> <laughs> Allowed. <laughs> one rule. Yeah. That's actually a good question, isn't it? Yeah, I mean. I, I like the olden days, mate, we could just pass it back to the keeper. <laughs> just <laughs> just, just pick it up. <laughs> I was watching, I like, bring it back to that. I was watching, like, an old game, and the keeper had no gloves on. Yeah. He just waits for the player to come and just picks yeah. it up like just, that, and I'm like, See if you're winning 1-0, one, no, you've won the game, surely. Yeah, just pass it back to the yeah. keeper. I mean, that's probably why they got rid of that rule. Um, offside as well. Offside, you get Ter rid of that? Terrible rule, mate. But then people just go yeah, on. Yeah, but it's just fun, isn't it? The game's opened up. Alright, we'll finish on this one, this is quite a good one. Three people, dead or alive, that you'd invite to a dinner party. I'd go Bob Marley, the Pope, <laughs> <laughs> and Conor McGregor. 
Yeah, no, it's a good dinner. Yeah, it's a good dinner. Yeah, yeah it's, it's a good, good dinner. Great music. Yeah. All right. Thanks, guys, for tuning in for catch up with me and KT. See you again next time.